And the last one, I think, maybe was, was actually a little far out. I'm tired of getting up all the CIA and NSA planes buzzing around my house in circles like I am some sort of freak at a carnival show. You Roman monkeys can go to hell. Go screw yourself, you atheist whore. <laughs> I see. That's the nicest thing we've said so far, huh? Now, remember, these are computer literate people. I am hearing from people who know how to use computers, who know how to find a NASA website, who know how to write reasonable English and send me a message. This is the elite of the world that we're sampling. <laughs> now, as I said, there's a lot of, of belief in ancient civilizations. We talked about that. Why does the Mayan calendar say the world will end? Uh, People who talk about the Sumerians, they say the Sumerians, we, from the Sumerians we derive all of our mathematical, astronomical, language, time, science, and so forth. And if they, that they knew, for instance, the shape and color of Uranus and Neptune uh, 7,000 years before the Voyager spacecraft got there, uh, they obviously had contact with extraterrestrial beings. They say that the same prediction that we've talked about from the Mayans and the Sumerians is also in the Bible and the I Ching, and Nostradamus, and they all say December 21st, 2012. Um, I don't know what else I can say about the movie. I don't care about the movie. It's a wild movie. Those of you who have seen it know it's, it's one incredible disaster after another. Uh, and if you like that, that's fine. It's not particularly anti-science or anti-anything. It just creates a completely fictional science fiction thing. And my complaint has always been not about the movie, but the marketing. I object to the marketing that says the world will tell you, won't tell you if something's, the governments won't tell you if the world's going to end. I object to the marketing that asks people to submit to the lottery for the, uh, the, uh, the IHC. I, I know a good friend of mine, she submitted her cat's name. And it was accepted, so I guess the cat is one of the people. The, the website for many months kept a count of how many people had joined their lottery. And it was up to 13 million the last time I joined. Now, why do you think I should believe that 13 million since everything else in there is a lie? I think it's just complete fiction. Um, I sort of thought this was interesting. A young person wrote and said, I'm watching the movie 2012 with my friend. And my grandma bought me a ticket for 2012, not the movie. I mean the real ships that will save the human race in the movie. Where did she get these tickets and are they real? <laughs> my response is, how much did she pay for them? <laughs> now, one of the things, to be serious for a moment, that really does bother me is the tremendous deterioration in the quality of so-called science programs on the cable TV. I used to think National Geographic specials were great. And there's a time when the History Channel and Discovery Channel were, they aren't anymore. They hype this stuff all the time. I looked at History Channel and just counted up the thing. More than 10% of the shows on the History Channel in one week were pseudoscience. They were Nostradamus, they were, you know, stuff like this. Uh, it doesn't help. Uh, but then there are some special ones. Have any of you heard of Jesse Ventura's show, Conspiracy Theory? You all know Jesse Ventura. He was the governor of Minnesota, a professional wrestler, very interesting guy. And he devoted one of his shows to 2012. And his point was the government is building huge underground cities where millions of people can take shelter. And it was the strangest thing. It, you could study it to learn how to lie on TV without quite lying. He went to a place in Colorado where there were it really were. There were contractors building houses down into and deserted Titan uh, launch uh, tube. You know, God knows why. But he didn't ask them why. He just asked, oh yes, they're building this underground. He went to the Denver airport and didn't talk to anybody officially in the airport. He talked to a couple of contractors who said, oh, when they were building the airport, we, we brought an awful lot of things in and we brought lots of sheetrock and so forth. So we think they built a city underneath. We didn't ask anybody at the airport. It's just all innuendo. Um, there's another show, which I didn't see, called Apocalypse Island 
on the History Channel, which is a fictionalized thing. An explorer, Jim Turner, finds an artifact on a remote island in the Pacific Ocean, which is a clue to the Mayan apocalypse predictions. There's lots of stuff on TV. Don't leave it. A lot of people get scared. I'm a mother of 26. The last few weeks I've been losing sleep over this doomsday issue. Uh, I frankly think it's sick. I don't want to lose my children to some awful disaster. I'm a young woman from Denmark. Mother of one daughter, another child coming. Yesterday I was considering killing myself, my baby in my stomach, and my beloved two-year-old daughter before December 12th for fear of having to experience the Earth's destruction. I'm in the eighth grade and I'm considering suicide right now. I'm scared to tears. I don't want to go to school anymore. I don't want to spend time with my family. I believe that I deserve an explanation. A man on TV said that if government officials spoke up, they would be killed. And for some reason, I've always been touched by the last one. Probably an older person. I'm so scared. My only friend is my little dog. When should I put her to sleep so she won't suffer when the earth is destroyed? Now, there may not be many people like this, but these are legit. It does happen. There are people who can, can be scared by the stuff that they see on the Internet or TV. Others want to prepare, and they again get very tired of the government. If the Nibiru is not true, then why are governments spending billions of dollars on underground bases? Why are many high-level government officials set to retire in 2011? Gee, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> I, this one amazed me. At first, there was just the accusation. Where will you and your family be on December 21st, 2012? A couple of days later, it said, I understand all of NASA will be on the moon in 2012. <laughs> now, as director of the Lunar Science Institute for NASA, I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Can you, can't you just see uh, moving uh, 200,000 people to the moon in December 2012? I hope I'm among them. Um, somebody said... Ed Gates, uh, Bill Gates has bought an island with an underground facility in his own personal navy. Uh, several people have asked me what part of the world would survive. One wrote and said that uh, they understood that the Queen of England had just bought a huge amount of land in one of the African countries as a refuge when this happens. Um, a lot of them said we should warn the public. Over and over I've gotten that. People who, I guess, do get the message, why don't you go public? Why doesn't NASA say something? Why don't you have a special on TV? Uh, that's one reason I did that YouTube thing. But I like the last one. Since NASA is part of the government, and you, meaning me, are close to the president, why can't NASA stress to Obama to personally address the nation on these matters and rest everybody's mind? There's one interesting premise there is that the people who are afraid would believe Obama. But I'll leave that. <laughs> and it's always interesting to get personal attacks. I think you are as blind and stupid as a horse's ass. <laughs> Screw you, NASA, for lying to the public. I thought NASA was stupid, but you proved it. I can't believe that you still have the gall to lie to the whole world about Planet X Nibiru. How dare you do that? You scumbag lying imp no, I'm not going to go on with this. You get the idea. <laughs> Again, these are the literate people who are web aware and have read the stuff I've written and decided to send me a message. Now, I will say I've had some positive feedback, and I'm not going to go over most of it with you. It's quite gratifying sometimes. But I'm going to share two. And I'll read them in full. Both from, one from a young person. I'm in the fifth grade, and I want to become a doctor when I grow up. I was literally crying in tears when I was watching videos on the YouTube about 2012. Then I watched yours, and it answered every question I ever asked. You put a very good video together. I had my grandma watch it, and she was impressed. Uh, do you think that you could get the news to play your video? Because I think this might save more people from killing themselves out of fear of 2012. 